I first came to the Fred Old Field Center when I was six or seven years old. I loved to draw, and I loved the fact that I could look around at almost any wall and see one of Cowboy Fred's paintings that somehow always made me feel at home with places and people that I had never seen before. There were so many things that I loved about the center, but what always stood out to me the most was that you can't was never a part of the vocabulary there. I'd wanted to be an artist as long as I can remember, but the more practical side of my brain told me, well, you've got to have a plan, and art does not count as a plan. <laughs> so I created a plan, and I was following along with that, but in the meantime, I continued to take art lessons, and my love for art only grew with the help of my wonderful teachers. I remember, and I will probably never forget, how Cowboy Fred showed me how to draw this horse that looked like he was just about ready to jump off the page at you. <laughs> And I drew that horse again and again and again, trying to get him perfect. I remember every Wednesday night, it was the thing that I looked forward to the most, was running into the center, plunking myself down at my little desk and just drawing away, blissfully unaware of anything else for the next two hours. The center always served as a kind of oasis for whatever else was going on in my life at the time, but it was also a school in the fine arts, if you will, of perseverance and patience, which have great value, of course, both inside and out of art. And let me tell you, I did not know the meaning of the word patience until I tried painting with oils. Over time, I decided that even if being an artist wasn't in the cards for me, I could still continue studying it while I pursued more practical avenues. A few years later, last year actually, I graduated with my Associate of Arts, and I illustrated a book. This incredible opportunity came directly from the lovely Miss Joella, and it was kind of a wake-up call for me, because I thought, if I can be doing this, what is there to prevent me from pursuing art more seriously in all aspects of my life? It still sounds a little bit surreal to hear myself saying all this because I distinctly remember being seven years old at the fair watching Cowboy Fred standing at his easel painting and I thought, man, I wish I could do that. And to me, that's what's so magical about the Fred Oldfield Center. I came here as a little girl who loved to draw and wanted to be an artist and that hasn't really changed, but what has changed is that that doesn't seem impossible to me anymore. I think that there are a lot of factors that go into encouraging creativity, but I know that having a place where I was constantly creatively challenged and supported meant the world to me, and it went a really long way towards helping me to eliminate I can't from my vocabulary. <laughs>